Hey, brat. Okay, so what we were going to get ready to do here is further explore this asylum now that we've stabbed the phantom in the eye. Uh. <laughs> Welcome to the laundrette. That was your cue to say, this is supposed to be a laundrette. And I'll answer, of course. Oh, admittedly, it's a little rustic, but necessity is the mother of invention. Mother knows best. And now, we're doing our laundry in the urinals. To wishy-washy for you, what other choice do we have? <coughs> exactly none. <laughs> you don't have to, you know. Just make sure that the fabrics are separated properly. The toilet sanitizers really stay. We'll do the red laundry in the urinal with the red toilet sanitizer. Kay. Yellow laundry in the urinal with the yellow toilet sanitizer. Blue laundry in the urinal with the blue toilet sanitizer. And green laundry in the urinal with the green toilet sanitizer. If you want to try it, just show me some clothing with the right color. Then you can use the matching urinal as often as you want. Okay. Let's get a bottle of starch. And a silk scarf. And a knitting needle. And is there anything else? Washing maniac. Lily thought that he was a bit wishy-washy. I can't believe that's the joke they're going to go with on that. <clears throat> okay, to the surveillance the door room. Was locked. Oh. Can I pick the lock? I said, can I pick the lock? No, okay. Uh, can I use credit card on the lock? Okay. Let's see. I've been in the maintenance room. Lily finally got the chance to use a pointy object. <laughs> All right. I already checked that. <clears throat> okay. And to the role play round. Well, hello. Um. My goodness. Who do we have here, then? Another player! Yippee. Don't pay any attention to him. Peter just sees black all the time. He was born that way. <laughs> That's true. Peter suffers from color blindness. Struggle Jug. Well said, loyal friend. We all have our crosses to bear. Oh, yeah? Do you all wake up every morning knowing that one day you'll lie dead at the foot of a traffic light? Not exactly. Oh no. But Druggle Jug, for instance, mixes up his blues and greens. You can't really compare the two. Your girlfriend Petra mixes up her yellows and greens. She's not my girlfriend. And we, King Adrian, mix up <laughs> our reds and yellows. You should have been there when we played the board game. Sorry, Peter almost choked. I wanted to end my misery. Afterwards, we decided never to play a board game again. <coughs> Only fantasy role-playing games instead. You decided that. And what did we just say? It's so exciting! We are a group of adventurers in the legendary world of Home Motigore. Oh, please! Why don't you join us? Struggle Jug? Not so fast. If the fair maiden wishes to join us in battle, she must first prove herself worthy. She must complete a task that puts her heroic valor to the test. Oh. Just tell her to order a pizza already so we can get on. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, um, so be it. She shall order us pizza. All right. Um, I want broccoli on the pizza. No tomatoes, please. Struggle jug. Oh, no broccoli. Struggle jug. Bananas aren't bad either, but I could just die for broccoli. Oh, yes. 
please do. For that, I'd even happily have bananas on a pizza. You only eat blueberries anyway. Yes, I like blueberries. But in this life, you never get what you want anyway. <clears throat> Upon the order of the king, blueberries will be banned from the pizza. Instead, <coughs> notice that tomatoes will grace the pizza dough from now on. But I don't like tomatoes! Lily had heard enough. It seemed impossible to get a pizza that everyone liked. Mm hmm Um... Druggle jug. Oh, drug! You have to forgive him. He's colorblind, as we all are. Peter mixes up his reds and his greens. Adrian mixes up his reds and his yellows. Oh, no. Drug mixes up his greens and his blues. And I mix up my yellows and my greens. Funny, isn't it? Oh, hilarious. Um, you're probably wondering why Droggy has a green pillow on his head, right? Droggle Jug? My goodness, she's right. What on earth are you wearing? You're embarrassing me in front of my new subject. Droggle Jug. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is a little strange. Wait until you've heard the explanation. Today should have been Blue Pillow Day. <sighs> Droggle Jug. I heard the take sound, so I guess she took that. All right. Druggle Jug, I believe our guest is searching for the tyrant known as Dr. Marcel. Deliver her thy news. Druggle Jug, Druggle Jug, Druggle Jug, Druggle Jug. Don't forget to mention the helicopter. Druggle Jug, and was never seen again. Bravo. Well told, loyal friend. Since then, these lands have returned to the wise rule of a magnanimous king. <laughs> Let me guess who that is. We want. Does that mean I can finally sleep now? No! Hmm, okay. You... Druggle Jug. Yeah, you heard him. Bringest thou the pizza first, then thou may join us in play. It's really easy. All you need are desks, pencils, Paper? And don't forget to bring a tendency for humiliating yourself. <laughs> Chuck. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So I need to order a pizza. Ordering pizza twice in one day seems somewhat inappropriate to live. Only uh, game designers did that. <laughs> That's right. I forgot. I already had a pizza. Uh, okay. Red tomatoes. Green broccoli. Yellow bananas. Blue blueberries. Okay. Yellow bananas. Red, green, blue... Okay, he doesn't like these, and we can't... Can we not take them off? He likes tomatoes. Red tomatoes. Alright, so you can't take them off. <clears throat> All right. It may be... Oh. <clears throat> I guess we can go and wash this green pillow. Don't know why that would be a good idea, but... What do you have there? Let me see. Oh! Very good! You obviously understand the basic principle. Go ahead and use the green urinal as much as you like. As much as I like, okay. So does that mean I can use it...
How about that? Green blueberries. How about that? Green blueberries. Oh, that doesn't make anybody happy. Okay, so looks like what I need to do is um, use something correct with each of these. Then I can use them for what I like to change the color of stuff, to trick the colorblind people into eating the pizza. All right. <clears throat> What color should this be? Is it blue? Should we count that as blue? That was already freshly washed. Oh. Well, don't know why we need it then. Alright. I can't get in the surveillance room. And I've been thinking that maybe this could use some holes if we're not going to use it to unlock a, a door and turn it into one of those... Dr. Marcel would surely be pleased. With the help of his credit card, <laughs> Lily made some confetti. Nice. Uh, and now it's a punch card, see? Okay. So. Punch the card. Alright, now we can see what's up here. Oh, this fellow. Hello, stranger. Before you say anything, please take a deep breath. <gasps> and is that what freedom smells like? <laughs> or is it just regular air consisting of oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, soot from the asylum's new chimney, and a touch of diesel oil from the garage? <sighs> I don't want to seem melodramatic, but I'm somewhat skeptical about this so-called freedom. Ever since Dr. Marcel started neglecting his duties as head of this asylum, it's us, the patients, that carry the burden of creating our own boundaries. And before I'm able to measure up to this freedom, I do have to ask myself a few things. Hmm. Maybe there are such things as good boundaries. There are. And even in an ideal case, can I really decide where my own freedom starts and stops? It so happens that no one is preventing me from leaving the asylum. Mm -hmm. Does that mean I'm free? Can I just fly away, spread my wings, and leap from the asylum roof? <laughs> the urge is there. Just like any bee, I long to buzz across fields of flowers collecting honey. You don't collect but honey. I'm still fighting it. Something about this freedom stinks. I like the yellow scarf he's got. I wonder if he'll trade me. That's very nice of you, stranger. But that reminds me too much of my life here in the asylum. Okay. It's already hard enough for me to let go of everything here. Okay. Is there anything on the... You can talk to the bee man. I wonder what... Uh... Lily had often wished to go to the zoo to feed the animals. Oh. They eat it. It was even more beautiful than she had imagined. And then we starch it. Lily knew that you could use starch to stiffen up laundry. It wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. I think we have our final punch card. Well, who said it? Now Lily had a stiff towel with holes. Nice. All right. <laughs> okay. Now, oh, that goes to the surveillance room. Who's in there? Um, Yikes! What are you doing here? Are you actually dead? <clears throat> Too bad. I could use a little entertainment, but the doctor told me not to talk to other people. At least not living ones. Sorry. But I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Okay. We need to make her think that we are a dead. Okay. She's gotten any needle. shouldn't be here. I'm not allowed to talk to people. At least, not living ones. Okay. So we need to make her think that we are dead.
Hmm. Oh, uh... We could, uh, give the Feather Duster to that dirty guy and see what he says. He was in this first one, I think. Yeah, there he is. Have a feather duster, buddy. What do you have there? A feather duster? Uh huh. Not that I would want to have a feather duster. No, no, we know oh, that. No, no matter how pretty they look. Which doesn't <laughs> mean that I can't hold it for a second. Yeah, Other what harm can it one do? One little second? That would be completely harmless. For sure. Don't you think? <laughs> Give it to me now! <laughs> <laughs> What's a relief? And just look, I even found my old spare sheets. Here, go ahead and take it. You, you've earned it. Aww. Spare sheets. I wonder what we could do with those. Okay, anything else? Thanks for finally freeing me from this burden. I only hope the chimney sweep comes soon, because I'm starting to get hungry. <laughs> starting to get hungry? Well, we can't get the pizza, though. Let's see. Hmm. I think probably... That's the only one we have to go back up into. I think we can... Well, we'll have to go back up to the roof eventually. Maybe if we talk a little more to this bee guy. I'm skeptical. Although I have the urge to spread my wings and fly off into freedom, can I really judge where my own boundaries lie? Something about this freedom stinks. We're not allowed to have a conversation with him. You want sheets? That's very nice of you, stranger. But that reminds me too much of... It's already... Okay. All right. Perhaps Mother Superior had been right to throw Lily out of home <laughs> class. Lily just didn't know how to use needles properly. Oh, okay. Be that way. Let's see. Um. Well, I guess you have to go. Huh. Okay. Is there anything else to look at in here? Okay. Wonder if I make holes in this. Oh dear, Lily really had managed to ruin the sheet. But perhaps a sheet with two eye holes could be good for something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I bet it could. Yikes! A ghost! <laughs> How sweet! Finally someone to talk to. You have to help me. Dr. Marcel is wrongfully keeping me here in the asylum. Isn't there anything that you and your ghost buddies can do about it? Curse him? Deprive him of his sleep? Drag him into the seventh circle of hell and torture him for all eternity with red-hot needles? Oh, come on! I've done so much for you. I've performed obscure rituals, sacrificed chickens, danced naked. Although when I think about it, I'm not sure if it was really a ghost that asked me to do that. <laughs> I don't feel so well. Could you please take off your head while we're talking? Ooh, ooh. Oh man, you're not very talkative. Can't you help me at all? Uh huh. Great. Look at this. The doctor is forcing me to knit these stuffed rabbits. No oh. idea what he needs them for, but I'm not very good at it. Maybe you could lend me a hand. Wait, I'll push some of the fabric through the hatch. Oh, okay. Oh, here's where we get the blue fabric. Okay. All right. Blue fabric. What do you have there? Let me see. Ah, oh, 
Very good. You obviously understand the basic principle. Go ahead and use the blue urinal as much as you like. All right. So now I can change the color of... Oh, that's going to be... Uh... That's going to be quite a mess, isn't it? I'm going to have to eventually make some kind of notes for myself for who's colorblind to what and... Ugh. All right. Let's see. Oh, I probably should talk to her some more if I can still do the ghost thingy. La 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 I'm knitting for the doctor. It will do me good. I'm knitting for the doctor. Nom 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 <laughs> nom. Yeah, that's not a good sign. Let's see. Well, okay. Hmm. All right. I need to find fabric so I can dye the rest of the vegetables. Hmm. Oh, no, I didn't want in there. Okay. I'm gonna pause this for a second, John G, so I can take some notes on the colorblind stuff. Okay, I've taken the notes. I'm not sure it'll help me much. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Ooh. Oh. Hello, Lily. You're not going to play with fire, are you? Yes. Of course. You know. Okay. There we go. Now I can do what I want. Take. The candle smelled wonderfully of honey and flowers. At least that's oh. what Lily assumed. The flowers in the convent always smelled like insecticide. Lily liked to smell them nonetheless. Okay, anything else in here to grab? Curtains. Okay. There's my red fabric. That's cool. Okay. So I'll go dye some stuff first, and then I'll go give that honey-scented candle to Bee Man. What do you have there? Let me see. Ah, oh, very good. You obviously understand the basic principle. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and use the red urinal as much as you like. Why, thank you. All right. Now, <clears throat> there we go. Here, Bee Man, honey and flowers. Mmm, that smells good. But even if the illusion is almost perfect, it's only artificial flavors and chemical esters. <laughs> An almost perfect illusion. But not real. No. Like with everything here in the asylum, it's only a half hearted attempt to trick us into thinking that we're free. Hmm. And now that no one is stopping us from leaving the asylum, it provides us with a welcome excuse to refuse to leave. <laughs> right you are, stranger. I'm just running away from my responsibilities. The responsibility to myself to accept the deal that the world out there has offered me. I thank you. I've made up my mind. 
I can't just sit around here doing nothing anymore. Okay. I should across fields of flowers and collect honey. You can't collect Hello, honey. Asylum. Hey ho, freedom. <laughs> Lily was glad that she had helped <laughs> oh, the bee no. man. Soon he would be in a better place. Oh no. All right. Poor bee man. Now. What do you have there? Let me see. Oh, very good. You obviously understand the basic principle. Yes. Go ahead and use the yellow urinal as much as you like. This guy's a weirdo. All right. I'm going to try this first and see if it'll work. How about that? Yellow tomatoes. Okay. And then... How about that? How Red about that? Berries. And then... How about that? Green bananas. Okay, now let's see about this pizza. Green broccoli. Yellow tomatoes. Well, that cheered her up. Red blueberries. That cheered him up. Green bananas. Okay, so it's just the broccoli that I need to worry about. Looks like... What color should I dye with broccoli? Yellow, I guess. Already got yellow, though. Maybe blue? Turn. How about that? Blue broccoli. Blue broccoli. Let's see. He doesn't look happy. Or unhappy, I can't tell. Hmm. What did he want? He wanted he wanted banana. We got banana on there. I feel like the rest of them look fine, but he looks kinda Let's try. Hmm. How about that? Yeah, yeah. Yellow broccoli. Okay, so that's his unhappy look. All right. Yellow broccoli. So we do want blue broccoli. Okay. How about that? Blue broccoli. Okay. Blue broccoli. Okay, they all seem better now. Let's see if that'll work. Nope, that's not where I wanted to go. Okay. Ah, the pizza! Well then, Druggle Jug, indeed. You've forgotten bananas for my good friend Druggle Jug. No one shall want for food at my table. Get rid of it. Take it from our sight. Okay. Oh, Druggle Jug gets his blues and greens mixed up. Oof. I don't enjoy this. Let's see. Alright. So not blue. 
Uh, no. The thing that bothered him was the bananas. Alright. Somebody didn't want bananas. Who was it? Peter didn't want bananas. Which is why I colored them green. But I could also color them red, and apparently that would be a, not a problem. How about that? Red bananas. Okay, so. Let's see if that does a trick. Red bananas. Oh, that makes him real happy. Oh, these guys aren't smiley smiling. Hmm. Okay. Adrian wanted... Alright. I'm gonna pause this and figure this out. Okay. Got it figured out. Gonna go feed these guys pizza. If I could get to the right room. Ah, the pizza. Well then. Mmm. Superb. Superb. Great! I wish I were as good on the phone as you. There we go. And Peter is satisfied too. Satisfied? How could I be satisfied in such a world in which <laughs> the only moments worth living for are those when the pizza arrives with the right toppings? That means yes. We owe you one. Peter almost starved to death. It's not that bad. I've already lost all hope of dying honorably anyway. <laughs> Druggle jug. Well said. Now that the food is taken care of, let us begin the game. Don't you want to play too, sweetie? If you take pleasure in such excessive self-degradation. <laughs> that and a dice cup. Druggle jug. Uh-huh. So be it. Then follow us into the world of Hoth Montigore. Ha! <laughs> okay. Your group has set up camp near the infamous Goblin Gorge. Lily found herself in a clearing. The campfire was crackling and the wind whipped through her clothes. You can hear the war drums of the goblins in the distance. This is your last rest before the great battle. Lily did in fact hear drums. An enormous army seemed to be waiting for them in the nearby mountains. Wait, are you telling the story or am I? Uh... What? It's just that I see that you don't have the Dungeon Master screen in front of you. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that the Dungeon Master is recognized by his Dungeon Master screen. That's ridiculous. I'm the narrator. I don't need a... Well, then why don't you be the Dungeon Master then? I'm curious how you'll do without any battle value tables or source books. What? B but that's... That's what I thought. And now, move over. Ow! Hey! You can't just... Where was I? <laughs> oh, yes. You're here on the orders of the king to drive the goblins from the gorge. There are rumors that the goblins have dammed up the Pink River. This has turned Hothmotagor's most important memorial into a reservoir. The Valley of Unpleasant Memories. Also sitting at the fire is a mysterious local guide. You're tired from the journey, but sleep is far from your mind. Goblin scouts could be lurking anywhere. The black magician Petrula, the noble Sir Drogalot, and the amusing juggler Snippo. I want a different role. Shush! are gathering their strength for the battle. Only the Amazonian barbarian warrioress Lilligrim. Huh? That 
it's you! <laughs> Only the Amazonian barbarian warrior Lilligrim is restless. It's your move, Lilligrim. What will you do? All right, we'll start this D&D <laughs> subplot next time. <laughs> Bye, Brat.